Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Rising heavyweight prospects Jared Anderson and Guido Vianello have weighed in ahead of their fights which feature on the Shakur Stevenson card, which is the first big promoter card back since the coronavirus pandemic. And hopefully now... We're going to have a trickle of fights, and then all of a sudden we're going to have uh, a stream of cards back. This is the first of the major promoters which have come back. It'll be followed by another card in short order, and it's a good sign. Obviously, we've been all hanging out for boxing. This card here, I'm not going to lie, it's not the greatest card in the world, but we are going to see some boxing. And there is two heavyweight fights on this card, as I mentioned. Jared Anderson will be facing Johnny Langston. Guido Vianello will be facing Don Hainsworth. And for a lot of boxing fans, they wouldn't have seen too much of these heavyweights. But if you've caught my recent Emerging Prospects video, which I'll put up at the end of this one in terms of something you can link to, these two guys are on the rise. I do rate them. And in the next year or so, I think they will be in my best heavyweight prospects list. The reason they're not there yet is uh, we just haven't seen enough. But I like what I see. At top rank, they've got some really good young heavyweights in the form of Anderson, who's, what, 20 years old or so. Obviously, Guido Vianello was a good amateur as well. And then you also have Sonny Conto, another good young heavyweight. And they feature quite high on this card. Jared Anderson is the co-main event. And I think perhaps that is influenced that uh, by the fact that Michaela Mayer, her fight was pulled from the card. And you have Guido Vianello. He is the third fight on the bill. Only five in total. But these young guys, Anderson with three fights, Vianello with six, they get a chance to actually show their wares in front of a bigger audience because the fights that they've had so far generally they've been lower down the card and there is going to be i think a bit more interest in this card because it's the first top ranked card back there will potentially be more eyeballs on this card than normal so these guys being able to be so high up the bill they will get you know a lot of eyes on them and so this could be a real boon for their career so i do think that um it's a chance to shine here for anderson and vianello respectively and who are they fighting well anderson is facing johnny langston he's a guy who's got a record of eight and two and i've had a look at that record because i wasn't too familiar with him he's fought mostly journeyman level opposition and he was also beaten by another sort of emerging prospect ronnie hines so this is a fight here for Anderson, who weighed in at 236.5 pounds, which is actually roughly around where he's been weighing in at. So clearly he hasn't let himself go in the lockdown. He stayed ready, so he didn't have to get ready. And he's got this fight, the first card back for top rank. Uh, but in Langston, I don't think he'll have too many issues. Uh, this is a six rounder. And I do think that Jared Anderson, with the speed and his skills, and he's got a, you know heavy hands too, he probably takes um, Langston out here probably within three or four rounds and he might be better for just easing into this and getting a few rounds under his belt because clearly this is only his fourth fight he's going to get some benefit especially after having a bit of time off you know taking a few rounds to ease into things might not be a bad thing but either way if he doesn't get the stoppage I do expect him with his skill to get past Johnny Langston easily enough and similarly for Guido Vianello, he weighed in at 239 pounds, and that is uh, roughly around where he has weighed in a couple of times before. He has been heavier in his career. He's had six fights in his uh, pro career to date, uh, six and zero. Oh, and in front of him is going to be Don Hainsworth, and I've seen a bit of Hainsworth. He's okay. Obviously, you can see here, he weighed in close to 300 pounds, pretty soft round the middle. Vianello, I'm sure, within three rounds, is going to stop Don Hainsworth. I do think that, you know, he will also like Anderson. You know, if he eases into this and gets a few rounds under his belt, he'll be better for it. But I guess some of these guys will be looking at the stage that they're on. They're high up this card. There's going to be a lot of eyeballs on it. They might be looking for an impressive stoppage here. And I do think against Hainsworth, who is a bit soft to the body, um, Zhili Zhang, who fought him before in China a year or two back, was really pounding him to the body and it was having good effects. So I think Vianello is going to stop him. But it's, it's going to be good to see some of these um, young prospects 
back in action. It's been uh, three months with not really much to talk about. A lot of the news that's been floating around has been absolute garbage. So it's nice to be able to sort of shoot forward to this even though we're still in sort of weird circumstances the way and you know the cleaning the masks all that sort of stuff at least we're going to have a fight we're going to see what these guys uh, have been working on in lockdown obviously they've um, mostly been by themselves in isolation sort of just uh, plotting away but um, they've stayed in shape for the most part and that's good for them they're going to get some exposure here, and then it'll be on to the next one, I'm sure. I don't think that Langston or Hainsworth is going to trouble Anderson or Vianello, respectively. But this is a good little showcase for Anderson and Vianello to really sort of put themselves on the map. I know not a lot of heavyweight fans um, have really seen much of these guys so far, so it's a good opportunity for them to shine. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.